Hey everyone, so uh, today I came down to Palisade Kepler State Park. I was here two days ago, came out, it was super windy and had a quick session. Came back today, hopefully I can make a shovel nose sturgeon how to video. Just down at the end of that sandbank, right there is where I was fishing. We had a crazy rainstorm last night and uh, the water's up significantly. Like all that water there you could you could just walk across without even getting your feet wet. I'll uh, let you see that video of my 30 inch sturgeon while I go set up. Brave the elements to come out here and finally got my 30 inch shovel nose sturgeon. It's pretty long. I uh, wasn't really prepared. Just came out here on a whim. But uh, yeah, had to use somebody's sock they discarded as a guard against these guys sharp uh, Sharp scales, but there he is. Pretty nice, pretty nice fish. Some turkey vultures over there sunning themselves. Okay, so I'm at my spot and uh, I'm gonna give you a lay of the land right here. So in the background, we've got the dam there. As you can see, it's raging. Um, you got the fast current running along the that um, whole far bank there. There's a current break right there. You got s some s relatively slack water right in front of me. There's a deep hole right here and there's a lot of ripples up there. So um, there's, there's a look downstream. So you can see this is the uh, pinch point, the tightest spot, so pretty much all the fish have to come right through here. So I'm hoping to intercept them on their way upstream for spawning. Okay, so my rigs, I've got a uh, five ounce pyramid sinker. It's all sand right here. I've got a one ounce circle hook and a whole night crawler on there. Oh, it's a mud cat. Or is that a flathead? Uh, I really don't know. Looks like a baby flathead. Really not sure. Gonna get a measure and I'll uh, throw him back. And he's 15 and a half inches. There we go. First sturgeon of the day. Just a little guy. I brought some gloves today so I don't have to use someone's crusty sock. Let's see what he is. Come on, stop fighting. To the end of the tail, 25 and a half. Nice. There we go. It's a little bigger than the last one. This one's 27 to the tip of the tail. Nice, one of the uh, criteria for the dinosaur hunter is that this little you catch one of these with a two inch bit on their tail I can't remember what it's called yeah that little tip is 
about two and a quarter inches. This one goes to 28. It's a baby. Oh, and hooked himself. Just a little one. They have such cool feeling noses. This one feels like a good one. That looks pretty sure that's a female. Yeah, look at that belly. That looks like a f belly full of eggs if I ever saw one. And wow. It's all blue too. I wonder if that means something. Okay, this one to the tip is 27. Look at that, uh, the width there. Yeah, definitely a female. So cool. Also has the long, the long tip on the tail there. Pretty awesome. There's another one. Look at its mouth. A little barbs on the barbels. Don't know if you can see that. Just twenty five. 